hepatic encephalopathy, effects of liver failure on brain function, glutamate nitric oxide cyclic GMP pathway in healthy subjects. The glutamate mediated activation of the NMDA receptor in the postsynaptic neuron produces an intracellular calcium increase. Calcium and calmodulin form a complex that modulates the activity of a series of proteins, one of which is the neuronal nitric oxide synthase that synthesizes nitric oxide from arginine. A portion of the produced nitric oxide turns into nitrates and nitrites that are stable nitric oxide metabolites. Nitric oxide, among other molecules, activates soluble guanylate cyclase and catalyzes the conversion of GTP to cyclic GMP. A portion of the nitrites and the cyclic GMP formed by the activation of the pathway is released to the extracellular fluid. The concentration of the extracellular cyclic GMP is a good indicator of the level of activation of the pathway in vivo in the brain. Likewise, the determination of nitrites in the extracellular fluid allows the indirect assessment of the activation of the nitric oxide synthase. Reduced function of the glutamate nitric oxide cyclic GMP pathway in hepatic encephalopathy. Under normal conditions, the administration of NMDA activates the receptor and the glutamate nitric oxide cyclic GMP pathway, producing an increase in the extracellular cyclic GMP in vivo. However, in the cerebellums of both the rats with chronic hepatic encephalopathy and the rats with moderate chronic hyperammonemia without liver failure, the increase of cyclic GMP induced by NMDA is significantly less than in the control rats. These results point out that hyperammonemia is responsible for the decrease of the glutamate nitric oxide cyclic GMP pathway and the reduced formation of cyclic GMP in chronic hepatic encephalopathy. Pharmacological treatment that increases cyclic GMP in the brain improves the cognitive skills of the rats with hepatic encephalopathy or hyperammonemia.